Hi, there's this is Vibe and Scrappy Mania, and in this video, I am using this Beautiful Faces by Jane Davenport to draw a face. I'm gonna follow what she have put in here to create this face. I like this one. So let me go ahead and use the book. Let's see how well I can um, draw. So. In the book, the first thing they want you, she wants you to do is to create an oval. So I'm going to go ahead and create an oval. And then not such a good oval. Let's go ahead and do that again. And because I did prep this page with absorbent ground, you really cannot erase that well. So, whatever I create, we're stuck with what it is. Okay. And I'm using, this is a charcoal pencil. And I got it on Amazon. And I like it because it's very dark. So then she um, went ahead and created the center line and then um, divide it the, the oval more towards the left so that way her face will be facing that way and then we're going to divide the oval in half like so the eyes are going to be right around here and a little smaller, more towards the edge here. Because remember, she's facing towards the left. Then we're going to create the nose, which is going to be a little ball. And then she has two little balls here and one big one over here. Then she has a chin here. Okay, we're going to create the nostril. As her nostrils a little crooked. Made her nose a little crooked, but that's okay. And then um, we're going to go ahead and create our eyes. That's our eyes. And let's see if I can erase that nose. I don't like the nose. Let's redo it. A little better. Not by much.
her ears so she's you're gonna see her ear a little more here And we'll try to hide that with color. Her eyebrows, a little arch. And then you're going to start right here, right in from where your um, corner of your eye here. The edge of your eye directly up then her neck is going to start right here Here are lashes. And then her hair, And um, so there's my face. I'm going to go ahead and put some shading. And some shading around here. I think I made a boo boo on that one, so let's see. Like I said, once you this, you, um, you can't really erase. So I'm just going to leave it that way. It's going to have, that's going to stay that way. This is charcoal pencil, so I kind of want to challenge myself. So I'm going to go ahead and bring out my paper stubs. And I turn off the audio of the paper stub because while I was editing this, I just didn't like the sound. It looked like, it sounded like nails on chalkboard. So I didn't want to, I wanted to spare you of that sound. 
So basically what you want to do is you want to put more charcoal around the areas that um, it's shaded. So you got to pretend where the light source is coming. And I'm pretending that the light source is coming from the left um, going down. So I put a little more charcoal around the neck area to create that shadow. And I love this charcoal pencil. It really works very nicely. It blends beautifully. Look at that. You can really blend the charcoal very good with these stumps. So um, I think these are worth to have in your arsenal, some paper stumps. And they're not that expensive. And I just like how the doll is coming out. And, um, you know, it's not a perfect doll, but it, it's coming out nice. Eyebrows. Okay. So, I think so far I like what I what I see. Now what I want to do is let's go ahead and get some of my color pencils. Maybe we should use color pencils and um, and see we can color her in a little better with color pencils. Now because we use Jane's book to create my doll, now it's not exactly how she made it. Okay, but basically you take her book and you're going to develop your own style. Jane has her own unique style. You will develop your own unique style. It's not going to be the exact same way as she does it. But what you're going to take away from this book, it's actually the landmarks. Where to start, how to start the mouth, where to put the eyes, how to position the landmarks so that way she looks um, like she's looking at the other side. At least that's how I use the book. Um, I would love, 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 love to be able to paint like Jane, but I know that is not how I'm, you know, how I am going to be able to do it. So um, I'm happy with just what I, you know, how I create it. It's not exactly her style, but I do like what I compose. And having a, a art journal really, for me, it actually frees me to be able to just play and draw and develop my drawing skills um, better than if I bought expensive canvas and used that because with, with cam, you know, the canvas are, are, are a little pricey. So I would be more afraid and I wouldn't have that freedom if if I was using canvas to make my drawings. So that's why I like using um, art journals because it helps me practice my drawing skills. It helps me develop the drawing skills without the fear of um, spending too much money and destroying canvases. So I'm just using color pencil lightly. Color in her skin tones, making sure that I leave the bridge, some highlights around her bridge area, her cheeks area. And um, so I'm going to go ahead and take some pink and just slightly put it around her cheek area. And don't press hard. And I'm just using a cloth and see how it blends. A little more. And just take a cloth and just blend it. Look at that. That looks very nice. I do like how that looks. Then I'm going to go ahead and put some shading under her nose area. And actually, I might just use... Let me use my stump.
let's just make this a little darker here. And then use my stump to kind of shade it a little more. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it that way. Her mouth, I'm going to go ahead and use red. Use my stump to blend it. And then her eyes, I think I like this turquoise. Just to give a little bit of color. So I want to really darken underneath here. Because that will make the white of the eye pop more if I won't go ahead and darken these edges here. And I think, let's see what other color. And then behind here, we're going to create some shadows. I just want to create a nice shadow in this area here. And oops, let me just put this back over here. I just want to darken this area here. Now I didn't try mineral oil, but you can use some kind of mineral oil or there's a blending solution that you can get for your color pencils. I did not want to use that because um, I just wanted to play with my color pencils and using the stump. I'm just challenging myself to use 
the supplies that I have and um, trying different techniques. And notice that I laid my pencil flat, so you don't want to put a lot of pressure on your subject with your color pencil because it will really mark the paper and you don't get that. For me, I don't see the blending as well when I do put a lot of pressure on my color pencil. And her hair. Don't know what color of hair should I give her. Um, let's give her some vibrant. Now we'll start with yellow. And I'm just using a cloth. This um, I found this at my local dollar store. It's where the automotive stuff is. It's not really a chamois. It's just a you know, like a little soft terry terry cloth or something like that. It I, I like it, so it works pretty nice. And then I am going to let's see. Maybe this, I want to give it like an orangey color hair. However, I don't really have orange in this color, as you can see here. So let's try, let me try this red and see what happens if I add a little bit of red here. little strange color but it'll work and I wanted to give it a little more depth to her hair that's why I'm using the red and um, trying to make it that a little orangey because like everybody's hair if you look at people's hair their hair is not one color but it's highlights and some low lights so that's what I wanted to do for my doll I wanted to give her a little more realistic hair than just a flat yellow um, hair. Let's give it a little, her hair needs a little more dimension. Um, let's try put some brown, some areas. So my brown is just gonna provide a little more low lights to the hair and just make it more natural than bright red and yellow. That's what I was using. And I'm also concentrating in the areas that I feel are going to be my more shaded area, which is underneath the hairline and some areas on top of her hair. So, maybe I want to give some color to the background. Maybe I don't. What color should I do for the background? Some blue might be good. I think I like this blue. And then I may want to use some, put some dark purple. Let's see. You can see, really see the texture when I laid down my ascorbic ground.
And notice that I put my pencil sideways. You really don't want to scratch into your paper. You want to do it sideways. At least that's how it works for me. I, I, I prefer to do it sideways. Because I have more control and I can put layers on top of my pencils, my color. And um, I can really manipulate it a little better. Let's go ahead and put a little more blue. Okay. So I'm just taking this cloth and smoothing everything out. And let's see, I bought these cards at my local commissary. And I want to see, I think I want one of them. I may want to put it here. It hides it. I want my I want my doll to be the center. Oops. So I decided not to put any cards because I really like the doll how it looks and I didn't want to hide what I've created here. The, um, the nose needs a little work. The mouth could have been a little bigger but overall I do like how my doll looks and it, it came out good. So I hope you liked this video and thank you for watching. Bye now.